you know, I can't ever compare myself to a, uh, one of my heroes. Like right. Damon has been doing it long before me. Like, Dude. literally, he's my idol. Like, this, I love Eddie Murphy, and I love Richard Pryor, and I love Damon Wayans. We all grew up idolizing people. I had my heroes in the household. Real 92.3, LA's new home for hip-hop, big boy big neighborhood. Boy. Beautiful day in the neighborhood, man. We got Marlon Wayans up in here. What's happening? I already know you're going to say something crazy. Yeah, man. I didn't even say anything. I, but I already know because you did a pre-temperature like temperature check. I, That's true. And you looked around the room. All I was going to ask you <laughs> yeah. from a brother to a brother. Yes. It happened to the little Puerto Rican girls. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> you got rid of all of nah. them. You, I you, you, you changed. I day, the men for one Negro? I days in New York. I days in New York. Uh, oh, she in New York and doing yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She moved to New York. Yeah. The Virgin. The, the, no, 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 no. The Virgin is you still should, here. You should ship her to New York. No, nah, the, the Virgin is she still here. She should go here. to Kalamazoo. And she's, that's, um... With the Virgin still here? She's Armenian. Yeah, 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 she's working hard on the other side. Yeah. And then Nathalia, <laughs> we kept her out today mm -hmm. because she had COVID. Now, I would have brought her in for no, you. No, no, no. Keep her ass Yeah, yeah okay. Just... I'll see you in 14 days. Yeah. No, she already cleared. She PCR tests, but we're just trying to make sure. Yeah. You know what I'm Give saying? Give it a couple of weeks. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We just weeks. like the room when she's not in here, to tell you the truth. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. more fun. I can yeah, say stuff. You know what I'm I don't feel like I'm me, I'm me too in people. You right. Know? Well, you know, this is being recorded as well, so <laughs> oh, okay. it's not just it's not just us sitting well, here he ain't attractive, talking so with I'm, headphones I'm, I'm, on. I can talk. You know what I'm saying? Did you really get, you can find them girls, didn't you? Say what now? Oh, my God. You put them girls on leave. No, 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 no. I see you changing. Everything yeah. changed. I'm yeah, I see you changing. Uh -huh. I see, oh my oh, God, you got, bro. You got you, you got have jewelry. changed. You got jewelry. You have changed, man. You got jewelry man. with I, diamonds. You never had I have a dog tag with that's been diamonds. I've worn for it's, 20 years. But that's diamond dust. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. Diamond dust. Yeah. Not diamonds. That, I don't <laughs> there, know. There is a difference, <laughs> man. You're right. You're Hold right. on. Let me tell you, you're bro. Right. Let me tell you. You've been producing, directing, Acting, I ain't directed. starring. You've been well. It's in your bloodline. Yeah. Okay. You have been on the road. If anyone has money in here, you ready? And what does that say to you? you? I am <laughs> overworking and underpaid. Right, right. <laughs> Do no, you know what it not is? Try to get me robbed in L.A. I ain't oh, doing well. Oh yeah, that is true. I am. That not is true. Yeah, doing we, well in yeah. L.A. Amen. I'm doing terrible. Hey man, we can't do that here. I am a couple of dollars away from going down to welfare. <laughs> yes, and yes. Getting my money. You know what I'm saying? Hey like, man, I'm how not doing crazy well. has it been out in L.A. though, bro? Crazy. Look, yeah. I don't have no jewelry. I got a rope. Yeah. You want to rob me? I got a nice rope, not yeah. a rope chain. Nice right. I literally have a rope. Where's the camera? Hey man, Marty, yeah, you true. don't wear a watch. A you rope. don't do none of that. I don't, I don't know what time it is. Right. I, I heard have no that. idea. I'm guessing in LA. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just look right. up at the sun. See right, man. He about, like, oh, it's between one and seven. Something like that. <laughs> between, <laughs> between one and seven, something like that, uh, man. <laughs> How has it been now that we kind of getting back in the clubs, man, and, and we're seeing? Audi uh, audience members now, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, but then again, you know, I've been out yeah. since. Oh, yeah. I ain't stopped. I know. Everybody else was in quarantine. I was like, I got to talk to somebody. I got to pay these bills. Hey, man. But you were, was were you doing the clubs when they were limited? Underneath freeways, like a troll. Like, they would put it outside underneath a right. freeway. You had, you've been in the middle of your joke. You had, <laughs> hold on. Let me hold the joke. <laughs> clear. Is, yeah. Are we clear? All right. And, and, and then he came and said, give me seven. Come on, man. I love it. But has it been different now? Oh, people are hungry, man. They yeah, man. Thirsty yeah. for jokes, man. Hey, I, let me ask you this, bro. I love it. I needed it. Did you? I needed it. I was right. losing my mind, not just being at home, but I lost my mama. Yeah. And after I lost my mom, I was like, I got. I need some therapy. Like a therapist ain't enough. Right. I need to go sit in front of an audience. Yeah, man. And I need to go. What's What's funny about this? What's funny about all that's happening? That's dramatic and. Tra traumatic in my life and what's funny about it and once I started doing that and I hear the audience laugh I started to heal so you know I'm glad that you know they, they let me out the cage so yeah man and yeah. you know what's crazy when you say that bro is I lost my mom as well right and I lost my mom on a Wednesday and I was back at work on Friday and it wasn't because it didn't hurt yeah. It was more so like the distraction. Yeah, and I needed that, and I felt bad that my brothers and sisters didn't have that getaway. Right. You and, know what I'm and saying? You know what the other thing was. Um, for me, I did the same thing. Why? Because I had to pay for it. Funerals is expensive. Yeah, man. It's so much easier when you just cremate. It's so much easier because you can you take a nice vacation. What? 
you are a smooth piece of shit. You know where he was going with it. But yeah. <laughs> hey, man, you know how when a comedian do something, you're like, am I laughing at this? Yeah. You, like, it's yeah. not like they can feel it. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. My mama left, she left a list of, a laundry list of stuff. I was like, is, did a viral wings die or Rita Franklin? <laughs> right. This, she wanted cameras. I want to be pulled, dragged through my she neighborhood. She had a rider contract. And a horse and carriage. She had a rider. Yeah. Yeah. I want Puff that is yeah. dropping some rock. I want nine linen towels. <laughs> Yeah. I got the linen towels though. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. we steal those from the hotel. You know. Hey how we man, do. before we got on air, we yes. were talking about man that you steal hotel towel. I know I do, and I st- even the water that's in front of mm-hmm. him. I told him I got this from a resort. You are smart. Yeah, because they I gotta got give, to. give me my money's worth. I yeah, steal the towels. I steal the pillows. Hey, bro, I take I, the little Tabascos when they bring them to you for breakfast. I steal uh, those, too. Sometimes I just order them, even though I ain't going to put them on my breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You go to my house. little jellies are from <laughs> hotels. You go to my house. I got little toothpastes. You know yeah, what oh, I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got, I, hey, dude, I, I got order, toothbrushes for the for the chick. I ordered back in. <laughs> I'm about, can I say the H word? I can't yeah. say it. Nah, don't say it. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, yeah, but well, you know what, what I'm saying. What, hotels? Yeah. Okay, there it is. I, I, I got the toothbrushes. They be like, can I get a toothbrush? Sure, I got you right here. Hell yeah. Draw number two. And you give them the little flip-flops from the hotel. Like, here you go. <laughs> oh, I didn't steal those. Oh, yet. man. When I was in, when wow. I used to go to Japan a lot, all the hotels <laughs> had little slippers. Yeah. Little big ass taking them little flip- <laughs> <laughs> And you see 13. his back and his heel <laughs> hanging out of them little ass got slippers. Got them big ass 13, <laughs> rusty ass 13 uh, feet hanging all over it. You know? Those are toe warmers for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, so you've been on the road a lot. Yes. You, now you're gonna be in LA. Yes. That Netflix is a joke, bro. They're yes. not playing. No, every, with it, what they're doing it, out it here It is a hell of a festival. We all going in. I'm I'm performing uh, uh, April 30th at the Palace Theater. That's a great venue, bro. No, I can't wait to play, man. Like and acoustically, it's got to sound amazing in the Palace. I can't wait, man. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna lay that out. Is uh, it different performing? At and then home? my brother Damon is gonna perform on the the next day. So I'm on April 30th, and Damon I think is May 1st. So y'all make yeah. sure you, you get at the, the same one, two venue. Parts. He's at pa- the same, Palace as well. Same venue. So y'all y'all get a get a double dose of Wayne. Is it different playing? At Don't home? buy Damon tickets and not Marlon tickets. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> mad yeah, let's sell your tickets Damon first. goes, yeah, I'm yeah. so. Out. And I got like three mm-hmm. tickets, three, <laughs> three Negroes in the audience, and one of them is Damon. People talking about, yeah, we 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 went to go see the Waynes. We went to go see one of the Waynes. It was funny. Uh, hey man, do you think you're funnier than Damon? Um, no, I can't. Damon's a beast. Though. Here's the thing: I think there's different kinds of funny, and when it comes to funnier than Damon, you know, I can't ever compare myself to a, uh, one of my heroes. Like right. that. Damon has been doing it long before me. He has so much seniority. I think we have similar skills, mm-hmm. but he just he's worked his sword a lot longer and he's he's my like Dude. literally he's my idol. Like this I love Eddie Murphy and I love Richard Pryor. And I love Damon Wayans, and I don't know That's which dope. one I love most. Damon's that that dude. I, I, you I know what I so love about that is when I asked him the same question, he was like, "Of course I'm funnier than Mark." <laughs> <laughs> But at least you got both of y'all understand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, and listen, you're supposed to bow down to, to the gods. Damon's right. like a god to me, man. Like, if, if it wasn't for Damon, I wouldn't have never, and Keenan, I wouldn't even known that I could do this. Right. Like, the fact right. that I seen my, everybody, you know, we all grow up idolizing people. I had my heroes in the household. So right, So yeah, I grew same. up with legends in the household, so I seen how to work my work toward being legendary watching my brother so i could never say i'm funnier than people who opened mm-hmm. out uh, open doors and hey opportunities man, for me is the wayne's last and name in case i ever got to borrow some money he's the he's yeah. the one to go to <laughs> so yeah damon funnier hey man is the wayne's name a gift and a curse when we talk about stand up comedy because yeah. when we do think of Damon Wayans and and even just and everything that's King, that Keenan has produced or we see and the people that he's made funny, is it a diff, Is it a gift and a curse when you step on stage early on and say I'm going to do stand up? Um, it's a it's a gift. It's always okay. a gift unless you ain't funny. Then right. that's that's the curse. If you ain't funny, then it's you know change your. Were last you name. funny your first out on yeah, stage? Yeah, I'm too desperate not to be funny. Really? You get, explain you put, that. I'm too desperate not to be funny. You put me in a crowd with a bunch of people, and my mind just, I got to be funny. There's no way I'm not going to be funny. That's just who I am. I know I've been doing it too long. I've been funny since I was like six months old, since I first started talking. I know how to be funny. It just took me a long time to learn, like, 
the art of stand up. It's right. not about so much the funny. It's about being a storyteller. It's about you know, it's like a magic trick. You gotta get them listening, and you take them where you want to go, and then you got your callbacks, and then you got your punchlines. You, it's just a whole nother. And you interweave different stories, and I just love the art of stand up because I've been a writer for movies. I've written and yeah. produced TV shows, and now. When it comes to stand up, I could create an act out of nowhere. Like I'm, I'm, I, I'm literally ready for three specials right now. Really, I got three specials hey, right man, now. Was it a difference between getting on stage and when we would see you like in movies or we see you on In Living Color, and there was you know you're a little more animated too? Did that not work as well on stage where you was like, oh, I just can't be up here and just be animated you know what i'm saying like I, I probably got someone way in the back that can't see a facial expression so do you work on that as well no nah, I, I i work on i'm gonna be animated mm -hmm. it's who i am i can't help but not be animated i don't care how big the, the bigger the stage the more animated i'm gonna be mm -hmm. but i don't need to like be all desperate sweating right. like sometimes it's just sitting in the pocket yeah. and just being cool Tom Brady, you a quarterback, and it's like, yo, sometimes you throw the long pass, and sometimes you just dump it oh, off. Oh, so now you're Tom, Tom Brady. This yeah. dude, man. Oh, I'm, this dude, I'm man. A, I'm going to be a GOAT. Right. You, know, you a, are a GOAT. No, I'm on my way to GOATness. Okay. But I got to be dead first, and then the people got to anoint me GOAT. I ain't, I just want to work toward being one of the greats when I... I don't want to be the best ever. I don't think there's such thing as the best ever. I think it's the best me that I could be. And when I'm done, the people are going to have yeah, so man. many laughs. They're like, tell yo, you. he uh -huh. did that. He did that. He did that. He did that. And yeah. I love that you said that, man, because when people say about the goat, the goat, the goat, yeah. it's annoying when people say goat. It's annoying to goats like me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when you are a goat. Uh -huh. Yes. It's annoying when you hear people like you that's not a goat yeah. saying they're a goat. <laughs> so I thank you for realizing, Marlon Wayans, that you are not a goat. You no, know what I'm, I'm saying? not. I'm not. One day I'll be like you. One, one day I'll get hey, man. some some jewelry with some diamond dust Do on it. Do you remember? But until then, I got ropes, L.A. Don't rob me. Rob the goat, big boy. Yeah, all right. Damn. And remember, big boy is, is a shooter. <laughs> all right. Trust, trust, yeah. Get, get, get that. And break your dinner plate, you come to rob me. Break your dinner plate. All I got and is roll your loved ones. And free towels from Four Seasons. There it is. Yes. Four Seasons. Wow. I stayed Whoa. there because Damon put me up there. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. No, normally, I, I stay at. Hey, um, man. Um, Best Western? No. Uh, he, don't even know, he don't even know how to say it. Wait. Super Hotel. Yes, I do. He was like, I stay at the, um, the Hilton. Um, 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 <laughs> the the Ritz Carlton. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The I stay in the same region. So. <laughs> we ran, now, when you think about the Wayans family, mm -hmm. I know you've had so many people that come up to you yeah. and say, I'm a cousin, I'm related. But we found a cousin of yours. That's a lie. Really? If he didn't come out of one of my sister's John Johns or my brother's, you know, thang thangs, mm -hmm. then we don't count them. All righty. Hmm. All righty. Well, you don't count. You're going to hurt his heart when I bring him in. All right, bring him All in. All righty. Y'all stick around. Y'all radios. Big boys. Big, big boy. All righty, ladies I and gentlemen. I really miss the cute girls that used to be here. Well, they'll be back. Me too. Why? <laughs> Why does he still have a job? All he does <laughs> is too. Ring, this, ring the cowbell. <laughs> Fire too. him. Hey, man. Let me tell hey. you something, bro. Why all is right? he still here? Come on, hey, man. Dude, please. I ask myself Marlin. that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still here, Alrighty. dog. Let me tell you something. There's a, there's a thing called somebody have something on you. Okay. <laughs> all righty? Okay. I got you. Hey. Just let it go. That's okay. why I'm not even looking at it. All right? So why this dude would why be Why'd you hire Brandon T. Jackson's little brother? <laughs> <laughs> Who that? Bishop? <laughs> Bishop and I, he doesn't What's work he do? here. He do all, all our other film and everything else. What you yeah. call? I don't know what he do. Yeah, he... Doesn't he look like the little, the little person from I'm Gonna Get You Sucker got taller? <laughs> hey, man, you're not gonna go through the room yeah, until sure. you finish with Jose. Then we're gonna stop there. All right, after Jose, we're done. Okay, <laughs> this dude, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man, you know how when people come in and you know that they're good at taking off on you and you just start to get hot? Hell yeah. You know? And then you do that, man, well, if I don't look at him, he doesn't see me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, comedy shows are the only uh, place where you don't mind not having front row. Yeah. <laughs> comedy shows in the theater. I'll row. sit in the don't back. Don't, yeah. Don't, don't sit front row. like, we got you show. front row. Like, oh, no, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> if you, I, I can't tell you. Like, sometimes I, I don't go look 
game for people. Right, but if it's there. If it's there, I got to. Oh I, I got to hit you. I, and sometimes like, I keep calling you back throughout the yeah, app until like, you get up and you leave. <laughs> like, man, this wrote itself. Yeah. I'm like, dude, you didn't think you, wearing this, you didn't think that you was going to be a part of the show? <laughs> Always the outfits. And them Negroes know. Yeah, that man. They wear that just like you because put all they the know. lime greens together, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I heard he he had that laid out on the bed before he came. Like this, three weeks ago, this, that was laid out. Like man, this one brother came here. to my show wearing all pink, like rhinestone patent leather, and he was black as hell. Mm. And we this good and plenty. We got this brother the whole goddamn show. He looked like one of them uh, <laughs> Neapolitan ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> Yo, hey man, but I want to bring your cousin in right now, man. Okay. All righty. Let's go. Can you bring his cousin in? Bring in Marlon Wayne's cousin. All righty. What's up? Marlon, this is your cousin, bro. Who? Valentine. Have, yes, this is your cousin, man. We're fourth cousins. Are you crazy? Marlon, 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 no Marlon this no, is crazy. your cousin. <laughs> Cousin. Hey, Marlon, Valentine <laughs> is your cousin, yes. bro. Oh, no, don't look tell me. He went on 23 and me. Here's why it's crazy. Okay, because yeah. are you Irish? Yes. yes. 100%. I have oh. Irish. I'm 27% Irish. I yeah. didn't know this. I was making fun of white people, and I, I felt bad because now <laughs> I realize I've been making fun of us. Right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So, oh. so your great grandpa raped my great grandma. Hey man, say it, brother. Say it. Yeah. How you say feel about it, that? Yeah. How you feel it. about that, cousin? Yeah. Say it. Cousin on the rape side. <laughs> right. How you say feel about that? Your mic is on. Yeah. Cousin on the rape side. That, that didn't work out well, huh? <laughs> I just wanted to come say hello. <laughs> yeah. Man. That, that's what your great great grandpa said to no, my yeah. great great grandma. Hello. Yeah. That's the experience. Hey, man. Before he raped that's her. That's crazy because. <laughs> Valentine is an icon in radio. Yeah, man. And all oh, this sweeping. time, we are no cousins. one. Yes. I hit oh, my you mom's up. Side. Really? I hit you up in the DMs in this thing, and I said, You're the same guy I used to see down at the Laugh Factory, because I used to do comedy with Jamie Masada down there. Really? God. And you're like, oh. Yeah, that was me. Then after that, you went like cold on me. Yeah, well. Like, what up? Damn, how cousins do each other. Uh, yeah, Because you know. I realized you was white. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> But here's what's crazy I got white <laughs> uncles, white, yeah. not like my great 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 uncles or whatever. Look like White, Damon, and Keenan. Like wow. Like they're Irish. Yeah. I have pictures, yeah. So you, we actually, that's so that's crazy, nuts. bro. I know. I saw that. I'm like, that's wild. Wow. Hey, man, like, when he was showing it to us, I was like, these dudes are connected to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the ways are connected. And, and you see, right there, European, Irish, yeah, British. That's us right there, Look. Yeah. So well, you did 23andMe as well, and you yeah. registered in. Yeah, he said you had to be in the system. And that's Damn. how he found right. his cousin, Marlon yeah. Wayne. That's crazy. Yeah, we man. We hang out sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to the show. I'm coming to the show. Hey, yeah. man, this is amazing, man. We got another Wayne wow. Brothers show. Yeah. 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 We're you brothers. You know, I'm going to have to bust your ass at some point. Yeah. At some Wayne's point. I'm, you I'm, already I'm, did. No, I'm going to bust your ass for what your great-great-grandpa yeah, did and my great-great-grandma. <laughs> I, I have no my knowledge of this. I don't know what happened. I wasn't here. We're chilling and we're chilling by the dozen. Give me a high three. Come on, cause, there it is, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, wow. we're bringing family members back together. Yes, Take man. the pic. This is the, they're taking their first picture as cousins, ladies wow. and gentlemen. Oh, All righty now. Thank, thank you, Valentine. Thank you. Man. So nice to meet you, brother. Right. No, cousin. <laughs> yeah. There it is right there. You sure didn't give him a real number on you, huh? <laughs> You sure didn't give him a real Damn number on you. Slave master. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, when you start talking about the great great grace, he was like, "Oh no, this is." <laughs> he got <kind of> cool. <laughs> He was like, "Is he serious?" <laughs> he started apologizing. You know when they start yeah, apologizing? Like, I apologize for that. Oh my I, god. I, I apologize. It wasn't me. It wasn't, you know, I apologize. All righty now, we have an aunt coming in. Y'all stick around. Y'all radios, big boys neighborhood. Martin Wayans is in the neighborhood, man. Don't forget it is going down the microphone fiend tour Palace Theater at four. A part of Netflix is a joke. April 30th, man. Grab your tickets right now at MarlonWayansOfficial.com. Marlon Wayans back up in the neighborhood. Marlon, I got to ask you this. And, I, and, and I'm pretty sure you've answered this before. And, and I haven't asked anyone this, but being that you are in the field of comedy, the Will Smith, Chris Rock, not the slap, but the, what does that do for comedians when you're on stage and you don't have the presence 
of the Oscars and an audience like that? Just somebody that you probably saying something about their pink outfit. I mean, it just makes you go, if somebody's walking up on my stage, I know that you ain't coming to give me five. Right. Like, mm. at a point, you got to go, oh, yeah, he's she's trying to come harm me. That's when you grab the microphone and you bust him up. So I heard that. Because, mm -hmm. you know, honestly, you got to protect yourself. I, I, if, if, if that was me, mm. I got an elbow for you. They, right. they, I'm, I'm not waiting for you to... No, I gotta. I'm, it's a fight. You come on my stage, we fighting. I'm kick. I'm gonna uh, grab the mic stand, hit you in the face with the mic stand. Right. You ain't coming to my, up on that stage to harm me. We we do jokes. That's mm -hmm. what we do. I never. You don't go to a comedy show and be mad when they tell you jokes. It's right. like it, I mean, that's what you there for. So I don't think. It, it, I think, you know, people in their right mind know better. I don't think everybody gonna go. I'm gonna get up and slap you. They can right. try it. Come on, come right. through. That's why I box. That's why I, I do my Muay Thai. That's why I do my Jiu Jitsu. Come, come on. That's why. I, yay. Like you said, I'm a shooter. Right, right. That, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. You feel me? Like you know, it's you got to protect yourself. But I'm not inviting that type of energy. I probably just you know I crack a joke. One time I cracked a joke and dude got mad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. out of so many jokes, it only it happened had to be to me that one time. Yeah. It only happened one time. I was doing this character Martin Luther Queen. And it's like, what if Martin Luther King was gay? And he was, you know, not if he was gay, but if the, I said gay people need a gay civil rights leader, like the Martin Luther King for the Martin Luther Queen. Mm -hmm. And I was like, uh, uh, I had a dream that black boys, and I looked at this dude in the audience, I pointed at him, I said, hi, little black boy. And he got up, oh, he was in Alabama. He goes, I ain't gay. I said, all right, bro. Yeah. Calm down. He said, I ain't gay. <laughs> I said, all right, bro, calm down. You know, I ain't gay. I said, doth, doth protest too much. Right. I ain't yeah. gay. I said, is, there, is wow. somebody putting a finger in your butt right now? <laughs> yeah. I ain't gay. I was like, you giving up too many tricks. And then his wife stood up. He ain't gay. I said, <laughs> which uncle was it? Oh, man. <laughs> was it on the white side of the oh. family? <laughs> yeah, you probably tapped into something. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he came. He, he threw his drink at me, but he hit the person in front of him. And then... He got up and punched him in the face, and then he was about to come up on stage, and I grabbed the mic stand. I was like, come on through. I'll, if you come on this stage, I'm busting your ass. Hey, man, what did you think hmm. when you did see that? And then I'm going to stick this microphone <laughs> in your ass, and you're going to be gay. Be a real microphone fiend. <laughs> hey, man, what were you thinking when you first saw it? Because I saw I saw it in real time. I was watching the Oscars. I thought I've been it was waiting. fake. Really? Mm. I honestly, I thought. I thought someone put something in my weed. I put my weed. I said, either I'm high or Will is high. Right. I, <laughs> yeah. Like, I was like, and you really? know, I know Will didn't do that, so I got to be high. I didn't, especially Will. Right. Like, you know what I mean? It's, if Fifty Cent did that, you'd be like, eh. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, you don't think Will in that moment, right before you're gonna get an right. Oscar, and we've been waiting for it. That's why I was watching it live too, though, Marlon. I was watching it live. Because I was ready to see Will Smith have his moment yeah, man. that we all been waiting yeah. on. He yeah. he deserved that moment, yeah. and I just think the pressure of thirty years of being excellent that's hard to do. And that man just he just snapped. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you got to check on your f strong friends. Yo, that brother was under a, something was wrong for him to just snap and forget about what he's been working toward yeah. for thirty years. Thirty years of perfection, and that yeah. brother he snapped. And I'm not forgiving it. I'm not excusing it. Right. But I hit him up and I was like, "Hey, brother, you may want to go get you about three hours of therapy, like fifteen hours this week. You need to sit down with a therapist and have a long talk. Um, something is going on with you." Right. And that that wasn't him. See, I don't have that kind of pressure. I've he's been black excellent for thirty years. I've been black aightness. Ain't that right? Much yeah, yeah, it's, it's a total difference. Pe people like, yeah, accept, accept me, yeah. expect me to do dumb stuff. Right? But him? <laughs> nah, not will. Yeah. Are you good with Chris Rock too? I, you probably haven't spoke with him, but I hit I hit Chris. Oh, up. really? Yeah. I asked, it was he okay? Like, you know, they're both my friends. I know yeah, them man. both. You know what I mean? Like watching. And them that's fight. what it is too, man. It sucked to see it. So, yeah, because it's like watching my brothers fight. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like you, you, that's a, not a fight you want to see. There's right. no win in that. And you know, I felt bad for both. I really felt bad for honestly for Tony Rock. Right. Really? Because yeah, because you're you you're making me as a brother. You're putting me in a really bad position because now i have to prove my loyalty you're asking me as my brother that was a wins like yo right you, yo mm -hmm. you know now now i gotta i gotta protect you because your whole life i've been like yo we ride or die we ride it now 
I gotta I, I gotta show my my loyalty. I gotta and that's a hard thing for a brother to go through. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like if that was me or my brothers, you know what I mean? We'd be like, Coo-coo! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine to be coming to your new cousin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, man. So you know, yeah. I mean, it was it was hard to see. You know, I just I feel bad for everybody. Yeah, man. And um, I felt bad. I felt for, bad for, for uh, Quest Love too, though, because it was his award. Quest Love is everywhere. <laughs> you know, for him to witness that, you gotta understand him. He's he's been a part of so many great things, but you never even like think about that. He's like Forrest Gump. Where if you look back in the history, you just gonna he see just a, there. a Negro with an afro, a big, a big Negro with an afro. Yeah. And he's always there. Yeah, he's always there. One night, me, Kev, Hart. like this dude played the Trump inauguration too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's always now. There. What are you about to say? You, Kevin Hart, me, Kevin Hart, uh, Dave Chappelle. Uh, Bill Bellamy and um, I forgot who else, but it was one night we was all on stage at the same time at the Comedy Cellar. Oh, all five of these great comedians doing is a, was such a funny hour. Chris Rock, we was all of such a funny hour. We was just all up there bugging out. And in the photo, Questlove and his afro is on stage <laughs> with us. I didn't even remember yeah. him being there. Yeah. Right, right there with the drum sticks in it. There's not even drums on the stage. I'm like, they superimpose. Yeah, and you know then man? when you look at his itinerary, he's supposed to be in Istanbul. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Yeah, but but that night, that was his award. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was yeah. like, ah, and, and and not that it is what it is. Like it's just so easy and it's so easy. It's just it's passive. I would just tell people, man. Like I didn't talk about it a lot on air. Yeah. I was just like, man, it just sucks. It was you know what I'm saying? It was terrible. Yeah, it was not. It just sucks. It was man. not great to see. It didn't feel good, and you know, like I said, I was concerned for both my friends. Like yeah. you know, honestly, you know, and, and you know, I talk about it a little bit in my my set. I'm not right. gonna not gonna go all the way there, but uh, I just you know, I think that by trying to take your name out of one person's mouth, now you put your wife's name in oh. everybody's mouth. Yeah, mm. now. Comedians are terrorists. Now it's like oh, you yeah. can't stop one organization. Now everybody, it defeats the purpose. Everybody got a Will Smith, a yeah, Chris Rock, man. you know, Jada Joe. Right. Now, you know, people got a half hour. Yeah, you know? so y'all stick around, y'all radios. We got Marlon Wayans in the neighborhood, Big Boy's Big neighborhood. Boy. Marlon Wayans, man, yes, headliners. Sir. Yes, sir. The, the, the tour that you put together, the things that we've been seeing, you handed the microphone to other people. Yes. And sometimes you don't see a lot of comedians do that. Yes. You see other people in different genres, like Shaq could do his thing, and you know, but you don't see a lot of comedians where say, they say, man, I want to focus and bring these comedians on. Yeah. Why did you do that? And, and, and talk to me about the headliners. Um, all right, the headliners is um, a, a special that I did, a stand-up comedy special that I did for HBO Max. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a, a deal over there, and um, I was like, when I started doing stand-up, I started in after I had like hundreds of millions of dollars in box office. Mm-hmm. Right? right, right. So I started stand up at 38. Mm-hmm. And when I started stand up, I would go to coffee houses. I would go to Marty's, which is an open mic night. I would go to Tuesday night at the Lab Factory. I would do open mics. Wow. I wasn't like, yo, I'm like all just kind of like signing up kind of thing. Yes. Things. I wasn't I wasn't bumping people. I rarely bump people. I'd wait to the end. And everybody that um is on headliners, eventually, you know, they became my openers. When I started doing stand-up, after I got my hour material, all these guys who've been doing stand-up probably 10 years before me, Sidney Castillo, D.C. Mm-hmm. Irvin, Esau McGraw, mm-hmm. my niece Shantae, um, Wayans, and Tony Baker, all mm-hmm. those guys, you know, were doing stand-up before I was. So when they say up-and-coming comedians on the right. description, no. And, and Roy Woods Jr. pointed that out, who's a friend of mine. Was like no, they're not up and com- up and coming. These guys are beasts. They've been beasts, and I got this platform, and I want to showcase what kind of beasts they are. So I'm gonna open for y'all, That's and dope. y'all gonna be the headliners. And so, um, you know, and this is a really funny hour of stand up comedy. And this is only five of probably fifty dudes that I know that deserve that opportunity. A lot of it is opportunity. Everything is opportunity. Yeah. These brothers are seasoned and they're ready for that next that next level. Same yeah. with me. Like everything is opportunity. Like I'm one hit one thing away from Right, being legendary, and I had a chance mm-hmm. to witness that with uh, with Chappelle and Earthquake. Earthquake yeah. been killing it, yes, killing it, yes. killing it. 
But Chappelle had to kind of like, okay, let's see what's going down with Netflix. Yes, yes. You know, but even you got to be, and I don't want to say you got to be secure in what you're doing, but sometimes, you know, people don't present like that. Like well, you got to be secure in where you are as well. You do have to be secure uh, enough to do it, and you have to have a good heart. You know right, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I promised these brothers I was going to do that. And they, you know, everybody, Esau. Right. He been doing stand up so long. He didn't trust nobody. He was like a, a, a abused child. I was right. like, hey, bro, it's happening. Yeah, it ain't really gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. They, like, this man, is just a joke. They ain't gonna. You gonna film this? Then they it, they they gonna they gonna kill it in editing. I'm like, bro. Oh, he took it all the way. There. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, he didn't no, believe yeah. anything. Yeah, I watched happen. it last night. <laughs> like one of them, one of them slaves that didn't believe freedom. No, nah, they nah, ain't, I ain't going off. That's just a paper. <laughs> well, I, you can't even read it. Really? <laughs> you can't read it. How you know it say freedom? <laughs> <laughs> but I got the opportunity to do it, and I promised I was gonna do it. And uh, <laughs> I hope that didn't get past people. <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah, so headliners is that these guys are, are are in their own right. They're headliners, and so I wanted to take the stage, warm up the crowd, man, let, and 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 host that night. I didn't want to just go. I present. Here's five people I think are funny. Right, I, right, I wanted right. to be a part. I wanted to be a part of the show. I wanted to be a part of the fun and the camaraderie of that night. I wanted to celebrate them. And if you watch the stand up, you'll see there's so much love. Every time I say I mention somebody, I give them a big plug. We hug, man. Right. After they killed they set, we hug. Genuine. Everybody killed it. And it wasn't hostile, you know. I put them in suits and they was mad. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> we, we can't be funny in a suit. Everybody right. look good though. I'm you like, know what I'm Jimmy saying? Fallon do it every night. Right. It, yeah. yeah, I said, y'all wanna you, you, I said, listen, if you wanna wear regular stuff, we can wear regular stuff, I'll wear the suit. Nah, we don't wanna do that. I was yeah. like, I'm trying to make it an equalizer. If we all wear suits, then we're all right. gonna look good. If y'all wanna come in your little Pro kids, and I'm coming to my, you know, my 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 Air Jordan ones, uh, off whites. It it's gonna, y'all's gonna look bad because right. I'm I'm gonna come looking great. But I want us to all be equal, and I want us to wear some dope sneakers, and let's all go have fun because what stands out for us is we all look good, and we our sets, everybody's set is what's yeah. gonna make you stand out. So don't it's a, let's wear a dope uniform, right, right, and bring right. A, a black excellence back, and let's go kill it. And we, it was a classy night of beautiful stand up, and uh, everybody rocked. Man, I heard that. Big, Big boy, boy neighborhood. Boy, Don't try boy. to do that to me, Marlon. <laughs> Marlon Wayans, definitely want to thank you for coming yeah, back man. into the hey, neighborhood, man. man. Thank you for me, and man. you've been in the neighborhood, but we've been doing like our, our last two, three, seventeen mm -hmm. interviews been over Zoom. Yeah, but this is good. I, yeah, I, 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 I miss seeing you. Yeah, man. You look good. Thank you, bro. You thank look you. really good. Like thank you. it's it's crazy. You aging backwards. You Not really. Like, no, but if you look, if you think about like fifteen years ago, I wouldn't yeah. say, "Hey, you look good." I right. I'd hug you extra tight because I was like. I don't think this brother gonna be yeah, here tomorrow. Yeah, he was like, well, man. Well, let's wait. He was like, man, am I gonna be honorary or am I, am I gonna be a hands on Paul Bear? <laughs> am I gonna be honorary or what? We, hey, we man, gonna have to drag you years like, ago. <laughs> do you remember years ago y'all wanted me, me to do that D'Angelo naked video? Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know how D'Angelo yeah, had the video yeah. where it was like naked and. <laughs> Man, oh, they was like, man, you gotta was, do it. It was for the MTV. <laughs> oh my music gosh, it was in 2000. We hey, wanted man, to get big, big to the do that. The internet would never <laughs> have let that go. Yes, can oh, you imagine now? Classic. Oh my god, my that kids, been so even to this funny. day, my kids be like, Dad, why did you do that? <laughs> why did you do it? I'm like, hey, kids, it was a, it was a moment in time. Yeah. It was a moment in time. Marlon, thank you for coming thank into you the for neighborhood, having man. Me, man. I love you. Listen, <laughs> love you. I'm gonna be at the net for Netflix is a joke. I'm at yeah. the Palace Theater. April 30th, get your tickets. It's going to be a hilarious Man. night. D.C. Irving going to open for me, and we're going light, to light up, light L.A. up. Get your tickets now at Marlon Wayans Official or Ticketmaster.com. Only a few left, so hurry up and get your tickets, y'all. There it is, man. That's Microphone comedy. Fiend. It is going down. Is it Microphone Fiend that night, too? Or Mo is it no, just my, Microphone Fiend is the kickoff of my tour. And right. Mm -hmm. for, for tour dates, check um, at Marlon Wayans Official All right. uh, on the internet. and uh, Or click the link in my bio, at Marlon Wayans on Instagram, and uh, see where I'm going to be at in your next city. All righty. So April 30th, the Palestine. Theater for Netflix is a joke fest that's going down right here in Los Angeles. Marlon Wayans in the neighborhood. Big, Big Boy's boy. Neighborhood. <laughs>